complete the biggest 3D printed house in America after only one week. They've already finished so much of the roof. It looks really good. Last time I was here, there was pretty much nothing on top and they've put in almost the entire thing. At this point, the interior will be protected from rain. So the rest of the construction project, mostly aesthetics on the interior, can be done even on a rainy day and the people working on the project can stay dry. Last week when I was here, the printer was still right there, I guess, from when they had built the house. But now they've disassembled it and moved it over here and you can actually see when it's broken down, it becomes pretty small. I wouldn't say that whole apparatus weighs much more than maybe a thousand pounds. I believe that these are the tracks that the printer slides on as it goes down and back of the house. So before was standing with a post here and a post there and then the rails went all the way along here so that that piece could move all the way down the house and back. Wow, I can't wait to see how they decide to finish the ceiling off. It seems like they've raised the central part of the roof. Maybe they'll drywall up there so that this part of the ceiling is a little higher. And then the ceiling, I guess, drops down in here to the normal height again. Here's the back of the house. This side has much better lighting at this time of day. Last time I was here, I had contacted the owners of this project, SQ4D, but they didn't respond to my email. So I came anyway. But since then, they actually saw the video that I did last week and they were happy about it. That's just about everything new on this project. So I'll check back in in a few weeks and see if anything else has changed. If you're interested in 3D printed construction, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll make sure that you get to see every project that I do.